good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching this from i hope you all are doing great from your respective places welcome back yet again to another video to another story and uh, when they say you are uh, irrelevant but everything you do to them it's always a breaking news that's one thing i personally have never understood why that's one thing that has left me out because uh, talk tv was having this whole story of gardening and cooking show harry and megan to launch non-fiction netflix series and uh, to add on it all they just wrote that as a, having a headline of you know breaking news i say that this and i'll say it over and over again harry and megan are working on things Harry and Meghan are going to be releasing things consistently. And the same way we don't know what's not happening is the same way even the UK media outlets will be left out in the dark. Because, you know, now they don't have close sources close to Harry and Meghan. Now they don't have, you know, royal insiders, friends to Harry and Meghan saying one, two, three things and what not and what forth. That's what at the moment they are so much struggling with. And that being the reality, they just have to adjust to everything that Harry and Meghan will be releasing. It's going to be a surprise to them. And Harry and Meghan are working on big things, which will automatically be turning out, you know, uh, or hitting them as a bombshell. Because I believe Harry and Meghan never disappoint. They do things knowing what they truly want to do. Duchess Megan is officially doing a cooking show and Harry is just producing a polo show. How amazing is this? I love, that. I love their consistency. I just like what they've decided to put into so much practice and consideration. I like Harry, I like Meghan, and I love the people they've just turned out to be. Myself, I'm very much excited to see what's awaiting. I'm very, very much excited to see what she does with a cooking show. I hope and I believe and I know a lot of us will be learning a lot from it. For those who never see this happening, for those who are so much anticipating for the downfall and whatnot and what forth, they just have to see how God keeps working. God will continue surprising them with the things that they never expected. Because Ari and Megan are truly guided. Ari and Megan are truly covered. Because, you know, the reason as to why even I believe God is by their side is because the consistent hurt, the consistent abuse, the consistent harassment that has been over and over again to this innocent couple who don't even reply back to their head. God has many ways, different ways of teaching them a lesson and this is one amongst them. What Harry and Meghan will keep on doing over and over again is just win, win, win. Just allow me to take you to an article written by Kezia and let's get to hear what Kezia had to say. This had been a rumored for months, but we haven't gotten a solid confirmation or announcement before now. The Duchess of Sussex is doing a cooking show. Not only that, but Prince Harry is producing a show about Polo. For months now, industry sources have previewed Meghan's even eventual move to lifestyle stroke cooking. But we kept waiting and waiting for the official announcement. I thought it would all come out of a package deal. A cooking show, a kitchen cookware line from American Riveria Orchard plus a Megan's Montecito kitchen cookbook. Instead, I got soft launch first and then the cooking show and we still waiting to hear about the cookbook. We just need to be patient because these people take their time, work at their own pace because at the end of the day, what they want is a nice finished full product. That's what they want. And they want things that won't disappoint the public. And that's what they always give us over and over again. The Polo Show, my guess is that Harry is probably a fan of Netflix 
full swing and or a drive to survive which delve which delve into the world of pro golf and formula one respectively harry thought we could do that with polo i think that's really cool honestly tennis tried to create a dive a driver to survive like show with break point but producers didn't know what they were doing and they ended up platforming and whitewashing two of the most problematic abusers on the men's tour polo is a great sport for this kind of docu docu series uh, treatment because polo is largely insensible to generate to general sports fans and the show could introduce a wider audience for the sports and eventually grow the sport too i'm loving everything they do the consistency and the fact that what they do they always stand to consider how the public will take that i'm loving it the good thing is that they never disappoint they do things that the public themselves appreciate and love and i've always said this over and over again and the fact stays or the fact remains that harry and megan are truly loved and uh, we can't love any less we can't them, we can't stop loving them huh? we can't love them any less and uh, we just can't stop admiring them we can't stop supporting them because uh, what better thing could we do as for Megan show, she will celebrate the joys of cooking garden, entertaining and friendship. Oh my God. She's uh, going to have friends over to cook with her and maybe we will see her gardens in Montecito. You all know Abigail Spencer will appear on the show. Let's wait and see. We have anticipated, we have predicted so much. It's for us to now sit down, relax, and wait to see what Duchess Megan has up for us in store. But from my own perspective, I'm like, you know what? No matter what they touch, no matter what they step their foot in, it automatically sells out. It automatically turns out a success, and that's what will happen. We have several examples to talk about, and that is, you know, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex docu-series, Harry's memoir spare, not forgetting Duchess Megan's archetypes and whatnot and what for that you all can attest. Speaking of Invictus Game, speaking of the actual foundation having gone international, global, worldwide, what more do we have to say? Because everyone is like, you know, sign me up, sign me up. And I'm like, let's just wait and see. How amazing is this? I don't know by your own perspective, but by my own self, I'm like, you know what? I can't wait. I'm really anxious, eager, and really, really waiting to see what is awaiting us. Just let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. Hoping to see you guys in our next video.